everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we're outside Stacked in Oak Lawn. Yes, they have a Oak Lawn location and then a Crestwood location here, basically just outside Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. Here to do a crazy challenge, guys. It's not only a massive spicy breakfast burrito, yes, big spicy breakfast burrito, but they also have two stacks of their signature pancakes. So, and that's what they're known for. Stack, get it? Like stack pancakes. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it is gonna be a pretty quick challenge. We only have 30 minutes. The burrito, if I recall, is equivalent to I think like six normal breakfast burritos. And then again, the two big stacks, which are five pancakes each dressed to your like liking. They have a couple different flavors like Oreo, s'mores. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. Basically 30 minutes, get a meal for free. If not, I think the meal is about 60, 70 dollars, somewhere in there. I think about 60 bucks. So uh, yeah, wish us luck. Let's head on in, see what we do, and uh, let's go eat some food. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Absolutely massive. So not only do we have this absolutely giant, 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 giant breakfast burrito, which is full, filled with jalapenos and even jalapenos on top. So they're trying to, uh, Trying to spice me out today, I guess you could say. We also have their delicious looking pancakes. Here we have the strawberry cheesecake. These look absolutely insane. So a big stack of pancakes, strawberries. We got uh, sweet cream cheese in it. We have uh, graham crackers. It is called stacked after all. Get it? Stack of pancakes. And then we have a lovely stack of s'mores. S'mores are one of my favorite little childhood summery desserts. So we got marshmallow fluff in there. Literally toasted marshmallows, chocolate sauce, everything galore. Can't forget the graham crackers. Um, besides the eggs, the jalapenos in here, we also have uh, the pico de gallo, we have chorizo, onions, tomatoes, uh, a lot of avocado on top. So it looks very, very delicious. I'm super excited. A very unique kind of uh, breakfast spread here today, I guess you could say, but I can't come to stack without getting some of their signature pancakes. So I'm looking forward to it. So ultimately here, let's get started just momentarily. George, you got our official timer today? Huge thanks to George. George, my good friend, Will Bianco. He's been on the trip with us. Um, so I'm gonna probably move these to the side and then let's come back to them once we douse some of this burrito. This is uh, definitely good looking. It is very, very hot, or at least it was very hot. I'll try not to burn myself. And at that, <clears throat> I'm ready. Restaurant is ready. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. So how will we get started? We'll say the count of five, four, Three, two, one, let's go. Ooh, that's very good. Cheesy. Alright, this gets a little messy. <laughs> this is good. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. So delicious. That chorizo is fire. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are here at Stacked, just outside Chicago, Illinois, here doing their massive breakfast challenge. So this is such a cool challenge. Not only did the first bites of this burrito taste absolutely delicious, but look at the diversity. It's really nice to have the diversity of the burrito. And then look at those pancakes. Oh my gosh, those stacks of pancakes look absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. But let me know what you think down below. How do those pancakes look? I think they look awesome. I promise you, off video, I do have table manners. <laughs> I can't say so much right now. <laughs> mm. This is absolutely delicious, though. I am super impressed. So a breakfast burrito is something I don't have too often, but I really think it's an underrated item. Like I love uh, eggs, I love like kind of sausage chorizo, you know, kind of everything they were putting in this, a little bit of pico de gallo, um, you know, some guacamole, like, and it was just so delicious. It was so fresh, it was, um, you know, savory. And I will say like, I mean, I always love a burrito. I've never ever turned down a burrito, nor would I ever turn down an omelet or, you know, kind of a hash, you know, kind of whatever you want to call it. But I gotta say 10 out of 10, putting the two together, just add something. I don't know, it's just breakfast burritos are freaking awesome. And this is the only second breakfast burrito challenge I believe I've ever done. Um, and I will say, I would love to do more. So there needs to be more of them. So anybody who owns restaurants out there, make some breakfast burrito challenges. How about two, two and a half, 245, something like that in? So delicious. 
I can't get enough of this burrito. I do have a little spice action going on. But man, whatever they did to this thing, it is damn good. I haven't tried the pancakes yet, but this is definitely a buy. If you know that quote, comment down below. Of course we had 30 minutes to actually complete the challenge itself, um, but this one was definitely quite sizable. With that time limit, this definitely added, uh, made this quite difficult. Um, the burrito itself was, I think, like equivalent to like six, about six of their breakfast burritos. I'd probably guesstimate it weighing, eh, I don't know, four to five pounds, solid four to five pounds. And then with the pancakes there, those were at least a couple pounds each. So in all reality, this thing was probably tipping up of nine pounds, upwards of nine pounds, maybe eight, but upward there for sure. Yeah, you guys can talk and everything too. Don't feel don't really have to be quiet. We're amazed. <laughs> <laughs> and I inhaled water. Don't do that. You're like, this asshole really eats like that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, very delicious. How are we doing for time, George? About four and a half minutes. Woo! That's a 30 minutes. Not way off. This is so good. So yeah, breakfast burrito, absolutely a buy. And soon, the pancakes. This is where things are gonna get interesting. Those are some big, thick pancakes. When it came to the pancakes, I did get to choose my flavors. Like I said, they had a whole bunch. Uh, the most common ones or most popular ones being like the Oreo, then the uh, strawberry ones like I had here. Um, so I went with the strawberry ones so that was like a house favorite. And then I chose s'mores. S'mores is uh, something that let's just say, it's like a childhood memory for me. I really love s'mores. It's a dessert that has a special place in my heart and I really associate it with summer. Summer is also my favorite time of year. So again, just kind of like positive memories and you know, plus I mean, it's graham crackers, chocolate and marshmallow. Pretty dang delicious. So I definitely had to give them a go. Um, the s'mores pancakes themselves had marshmallows, which were um, flamed. We then had chocolate sauce, chocolate chips, uh, marshmallow fluff, and then like which is the sauce, and then the graham crackers. <laughs> Spicy, but excuse me, I got a little sweet, sweet. Get some air out of me. Excuse me. All right. Where to start? How about this one? Okay. I can dig. One sec. Let's just try a bite of everything that's a stack. Mmm. Wow. You got to learn some strawberries, right? Oh my god. That is delicious. I do have a big mouth. 
Their reactions attest to that. <laughs> I don't know if my head's big or just my mouth is big, but they got another five layer bite. <laughs> this is fantastic. The whole jump is that is rich and thick. Five C thickness of paper. Alright. I'll try to eat a little, little more, talk a little less. Let's get this done. And the strawberry shortcake pancakes had like the strawberries, um, strawberry syrup. Um, it had a lovely kind of like uh, cream cheese filling, frosting in between it. And I will say they was absolutely delectable. I was really enjoying the flavor of these pancakes. Um, of course, everybody was laughing at how big a bites I can take because I, I really do have a pretty big mouth. And this sounds funny, but just like as I have a pretty big mouth, um, seeing it in person, like seeing me take some of these bites I've heard is quite different in person than on a video. I've heard it doesn't do it justice. Same as I've heard that like a lot of the size of these challenges um, is not accurately represented in a video as well. Like to see somebody eat this much food, um, I guess is pretty shocking. Uh, and again, this is going by what I'm told time and time again. Um, you know, and so they say seeing is believing, I guess, you know, you can kind of put it that. So again, if you're ever in the area, please guys come on out. Um, I post my schedules on my YouTube uh, community tab. I put it on my uh, Facebook page. Links to uh, links is in the description. Um, also check out my Instagram while you're there. I put sometimes updates on my Instagram and I also put my schedule on joeleats.com uh, so you can definitely check out my schedule all around there so hopefully you can come on out meet me and watch me do a challenge somewhere around 10 minutes very delicious these are just exceptional pancakes I look forward to the s'mores ones And I do want to use your quote, I like that. I'm gonna like put that on plaque somewhere. I have never seen bites like that. <laughs> I think that's a good one. Maybe I'll put that on a, maybe I'll put that on a t shirt. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. <laughs> Stacked is definitely a place I'll also definitely come back to. Like I said, I really, really liked the food. Everything here was fantastic. And the staff were awesome as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And last but not least, and definitely not sugar-free, <laughs> s'mores pancakes. But everybody, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. So of course we're in the quest for a free meal. So we'll tune on in, see what happens, see if we can finish this thing up, and uh, let's get watching. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. I think this would almost quantify as a dessert, but I'm not complaining. It's kind of like dessert, actually. Very thick, very gooey, very delicious. But it's a little, it takes some work. It's so good though. You are so slacking right now. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even try.
about 14.52, just under 15 minutes. Very delicious. Very, very delicious. Stacked, got some crazy, crazy pancakes. The s'mores was delectable. It was everything you could ever ask for. And almost, I, I, I think it could be breakfast and arguably dessert. These ones are absolutely delicious as well. Love the combination of that strawberry, kind of sweet cream cheese. That burrito as well is absolutely fire. I can say through and through. I basically went through the courses. I had breakfast, kind of borderline brunch, then dessert and breakfast again. I loved it. I have no complaints. At that, I want to give a huge thank you to Stack for having us out. The food is absolutely fantastic here. The rest, we do get the meal for free, which is pretty sweet. And uh, that's about it. I mean, I definitely recommend coming by. If you're ever in the area, even if you're not in the area, come on by, try these pancakes, try that breakfast burrito. Maybe don't get a burrito quite that big. I don't I don't think anybody really needs it quite that big. And you can also get the uh, you can also get the pancakes in like a, a three stack versus a five stack. So again, you don't need the ten pancakes. You can do a little less. Um, but at that, I think I'm really gonna roll with that. Like I've never seen bites like that. If anybody's a producer, comment down below. I think I should like you know, like the Eminem song, ask like that, and be like, oh, wee! <laughs> and be like, the way you eat that, I can't believe that. I ain't ever seen a bite like that. <laughs> the way you eat that, it makes my maybe mouth go. Doing, doing, doing. Anyway, that everybody, like I said, thank you so much. Huge thanks to the staff here. I had a great time, great food experience. Um, I don't need dessert though, and uh, that was it. So that everyone, thanks so much for watching. Of course, till next time, to have a happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And uh, at that, till next time, have a lovely day. I don't even know what, but a absolutely giant, massive, beautiful building. And here we have the Chicago Riverwalk, which is definitely, definitely very, very pretty. You can see the blue, blue, blue waters. Lots of people over there along the walk. It just goes on and on and on and on. And you can grab a, a boat and you can see everything from the uh, from the water. And here we got beautiful tall buildings, Madison's uh, or Michigan Ave. So now we are by foot on Michigan Ave. So again, kind of the uh, the ritzier street. Very very pretty though. Very very beautiful. Very stunning. Um, great architecture on some of these buildings. Uh, obviously, they've been here for a long, long, long time. And there's Michael Jordan's Steakhouse by foot. Um, obviously, you know, we have our monstrous, tall kind of skyscrapers, some being, of course, more modern than others. But yeah, got to, somebody got to see the area. We're going to go check out the uh, Riverwalk after this. And here we are, Jane Adams Memorial Park. So this is getting towards the, uh, the Navy Pier, which we drove past yesterday. Now we're on by foot. That's Navy Pier over there. So yeah, let's go uh, take a quick walk, gander through here. Again, very nice, beautiful, sunny day. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely be uh, checking this out. And down here at the park, there's like a little beach area, which is super cool. Maybe we'll have to even take a dip. I don't know, I'm a little tempted, I'm a little tempted. It is uh, definitely a very, 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 it's definitely a beautiful day out. Again, I'm really looking forward to uh, head on over to the pier afterwards. So it should be very, very interesting to see. But uh, yeah, never a dull moment down here in Chicago. Some more of the skyline, some ducks again. Look how blue the water is, look how blue it is. Lots of boats, lots of people out here enjoying the beautiful sunny day. I don't blame them at all. Don't blame them at all. All right, officially done on the beach. Just took the shoes off. Got my toes officially in the sand. I am gonna go touch the water to say I officially went to a beach in Chicago. So it's a beautiful day though. This is just, it's just fantastic. There's so many people out here just having a blast, just having some fun. Like I said, I don't have my toes in the water. My ass ain't in the sand. 
but I took my shoes off so they don't, they don't get full of sand and it's good today. All right, making proof. Oh, I'm about to get splashed. Let's try it. Look at this. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. There you go, I officially touched the water in Chicago. Now I'm good, but no, what a gorgeous day. It's, uh, I'm excited, this is summer. And over here as we are entering uh, Navy Pier, the pier where they shoot up the fireworks. So this is where we were like further down, further north, where the, but essentially where they shot the fireworks off. I think they do it for off the water technically. But look, there's a great big splash pad over there. So that's dang cool. Obviously lots of families here enjoying the warm weather. But uh, that's another fun way to cool off. Maybe we'll have to uh, come back and check that out. And now down on Navy Pier, this is the actual pier itself. The other side is a little bit less uh, touristy. It's more just like motorway. This is actually a walking path. So as you can see, there are definitely lots and lots and lots of people coming out here. Again, straight, we're coming straight from uh, Michigan Ave over there. So we have obviously a large variety of not only sailboats, but you have um, kind of the more uh, trolley boats as well kind of out there uh, which you can board and it'll take you all around the harbor around the coast per se but yeah very gorgeous again still we're getting lots of people out enjoying this beautiful Sunday afternoon out here in Chicago uh, like I said people are just having it here we're having uh, rainbow cones some ice creams Excuse this. so if you want a sherbet it's only gonna cost you eight dollars uh, here we got some nuts. We got some roasted salted nuts, candy nuts. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then obviously you have uh, different uh, hotels. You have restaurants all along the uh, along here as well. And this is the view from the end of the pier, skyline. Big Navy Pier building. Yeah, Big Navy Pier building, skyline, water, all around. And this is definitely a place where you'd want to know somebody that owned a boat. Definitely you'd want a boat. And look, that's pretty cool. You can see the uh, the way all the way to the lighthouse. Definitely an old lighthouse way out there, but no, this is cool. Definitely cool. And here we are. This is the river walk again from a different angle. It's more the traditional river walk. We're just kind of at a little outlet. There's the uh, Du Sable Bridge, I guess is how it's pronounced, but yeah, across in Michigan Ave. But, uh, crazy, there's even people kayaking down there. That's pretty cool. This is crazy. I didn't realize how much like water activity there was here in Chicago, so beautiful. And here we are on the Du Sable, du Sable Bridge, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Lovely little walking area. Again, the water right down there, which there's the big Trump Tower. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty gorgeous. Like I said, super nice down here. I like it. I definitely like it. Now down here, actually officially on the river walk, starting to cool off just a little bit as we're losing that sun. Got a breeze coming through, hashtag Windy City, but just very light. But uh, yeah, very, very beautiful down here. Definitely, again, very, very gorgeous. I can see why uh, people come here from afar, and I don't know, this, this, is, this river walk is gorgeous, and I know it just goes for miles. Some more scenery. It is just absolutely so beautiful here right now. Like I said, it's so nice to see the summer, the sun setting, the buildings. This really cool apartments are like condos, so they're all circular. And even the uh, parking is all circular, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's actually pretty neat. Definitely an uh, interesting design. Uh, it was funny, the other day we saw a sign which was saying um, uh, condos or whatever starting at two million. So if you wanna live down here, you're only, st well it wasn't even down here, it was uh, well, by Lincoln Park, you're only starting at two million dollars. Only two million. 